Hi everybody. I've been asked recently a question about supper. What is the difference between supper and dinner? Well the answer depends on what time you have your meal and also what class you're in. In modern day supper is the same as dinner. If someone offered you to come round for supper then you'd expect to have a light dinner. But historically supper was always a light snack that you'd have just before going to bed. Throughout English history we've had a class system. In general we have the upper classes and the working lower classes. If you were in a working class background then you'd expect to be up early in the morning, have your breakfast and then when you get to midday you'd have a big dinner. Then later on when you come home from work the early evening you'd have a light meal and we'd call that tea and typically working class families wouldn't have the resources or the money available to pay for another big meal during the day so they'd have to settle for a light meal in the evening however if you're from an upper class background you'd wake up a little bit later in the morning have a breakfast possibly a big breakfast and then around midday you'd have a light lunch. So dinner, whichever class you're from, is the main meal of the day. They just have it at different times. Another thing that would be interesting to mention is tea. Typically afternoon tea is made up of a cup of tea served with cakes and sandwiches and other light snacks. The practice of afternoon tea started in the 1700s by Anna Russell, the Duchess of Bedford. Around four o'clock in the afternoon, she would feel bored and hungry. So she got her servants to make her a cup of tea and serve her some light sandwiches and snacks. She was also bored, so she invited her friends over to enjoy this afternoon tea with her. This practice eventually worked its way down from the upper classes to the lower working classes and became a regular light meal in the evening amongst the working class. Now in England a lot of practices of the upper class tend to work their way down to the working classes and to this day people of working class still refer to their evening meal as tea. And they also refer to the time of day where they have their tea as tea time. If you want to know more about the English language, it's a good idea to learn more about British culture and history. If you think about it, it's quite interesting that one of the most popular experiences of British culture today was invented by a member of the royal family acting out of pure boredom. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Bye bye.